What's up, Gemini Cross Watchers? It's West Coast Tarot with your October What Is My Gemini Up To? This is for the Cross Watchers of Gemini, which means that you may not be a Gemini, but you watch videos for a Gemini because you are connecting with a Gemini romantically or energetically. Also, if you are a Gemini dealing with another Gemini, this video can be for you or a bonus if you are a Gemini who cross watches for another person. However, this um, generally is not intended for you per se, Gemini, so just take it where it fits. If it's not for you, it's definitely not for you. It's intended for those who are inquiring about you to see what you're up to, okay? So Spirit, please bring forth the current energies of Gemini. Ooh, oh my goodness. Okay. Tell me about Gemini, please, and love. Please bring forth the current energies for Gemini and love for the month of October. Okay. What is Gemini up to for the month of October? Okay, so we have the moon in reverse. What's up, Cancer? What's up, Pisces? Judgment. Ten of Swords in Reverse. Ten of Coins. What's up, Taurus? Higher Font in Reverse. And Knight of Cups in Reverse. Five of Swords in Reverse. Nice. Ten of Cups and the Fool. What's up, Aries? Bottom of the deck, we have Nine of Cups Reverse. So this is definitely an energy of just not feeling very happy fied. <laughs> What does that even mean, happified? Sorry, guys, I invent my own language sometimes, but this is like feeling like you're not satisfied, um, feeling like you're not emotionally stable, just feeling like things are not where you want it to be, feeling like your wishes are, you know, there, but you just can't reach them, okay? So I definitely feel like someone here is feeling like not happy in this current energy, just not feeling fully satisfied at this moment in time. So I see from the recent past, there was something, there was like an illusion or something that wasn't being revealed. And I definitely feel like um, Gemini may have thought long and hard about this situation. And I feel like they were reflecting on it and there was an awakening. And I feel like they realized that there's no reason for them to sit on fear, for them to sit on confusion, no reason for them to be afraid. Um of something that they have no control of. And I feel like they made a decision. They made a choice to improve their life. I feel like there was some betrayal. There definitely was some backstabbing here. But also it's like when you reach the bottom, where else is there to go? Things cannot only, you know, things can't get any worse. It's There's only roof for improvement or for you to go upward. And I feel like they made a decision to put the past in the past and put an end to a situation where there was so much confusion and a lot of misunderstandings behind them is what I see here, okay? Spirit, why is the moon here, please? Tell me about Gemini. I feel like some Geminis... Some of them, okay, so some Geminis may have just came towards you. It's interesting. They made a choice to reach out, um, to say what's on their mind. I feel like this was a surprise. So some of you may have gotten a message from a Gemini where they poured their heart out or they were honest about their feelings. They made a choice. And the devil, please. What's up, Capricorn? Yeah, see, I feel like there definitely here was a situation where hmm. I'm definitely pulling two energies here. Okay, so for part of you, um, because this is a general. 
I do feel like some of you may have just recently heard from your Gemini, okay? And they have been thinking about it long and hard. And they made the decision to try to overcome all the chaos around your connection because they are still tempted by the situation. They still, you know, are attracted to the situation. Okay, that's for some of you. For the other groups of you, I definitely see here that there's a situation where Gemini um, may have made a decision, a judgment call to walk away from a situation and to go after new love, to follow their heart. And I feel like they are, in a sense, letting go. They made a judgment call to let go and to be fearful, uh, if not be fearful and take on this demon, take on the devil energy. And I feel like they're letting go of a situation that could have been involved with a third party. And I feel like they are putting on a brave face to take on this devil energy. Okay, so I definitely feel like, you know, some are going after new love. And for others of you, you may just have heard from this, you may just have heard from this Gemini. Why is the Ten of Swords here, please? Tell me about Gemini. Yeah, either way, they're following their heart in love. They're improving their, yeah, they're letting go of any, um, anything that's not serving them. They're letting go of any responsibilities that are overwhelming. And I feel like whatever is stressing them out, they're letting go of it. They're not going to burn themselves out and they're following their heart right now. And I feel like they only want to improve. Okay. So if you are newly connecting with a Gemini um, or if you are the person that Gemini just reached out to, I definitely feel like they want to let go of any past burdens, and I feel like they are ready to follow their heart. Okay, because so I see here that right now, um, Geminis are trying to culminate. Okay, They're, they want to build something. They definitely want to build something, and I feel like it's almost like they don't want to stand for any disappointing energy. It's like they're unhappy with people who are not ready to commit. I feel like they want everything. Right now, Gemini's trying to work towards their legacy. They definitely want someone who they can be with over time, someone that they can share their life with. And I feel like they're going to start taking a new approach here with the Hierophant in reverse. And I feel like they're no longer going to be allowing people around them who bring disappointment. Why is the Ten of Queens here, please? Why is the Ten of Queens here, please? Yeah, see, right now they're really focusing on money. Someone may have just won some money. What's up, Gemini? Yeah, I definitely see here that right now Gemini is really trying to focus more so on their on their wealth, on their home. You know, I feel like some of them are trying to buy a home. Um, I also see here that you know they may not be balanced out as far as love. So I don't feel like they are connecting with someone right now romantically one on one. Um, I do see here that their love life might be out of balance, and I feel like that's because they're focusing more so on their will of fortune, on their good luck, okay? So I don't feel like love is on the forefront for them right now at this moment in time. Why is the Hierophant here, please? Tell me about Gemini. Gemini. <laughs> yeah, I feel like... They definitely are open to commitment to something more traditional, but I feel like at this moment in time, um, they're taking new approaches. I feel like they're changing their old patterns, their lifestyle. They're being sneaky. So I feel like Gemini are definitely being sneaky right now. Um... I definitely feel like they may not be wanting a commitment. Honestly, I feel like they just are more so worried about 
building something. It could be buying a house, changing their fortune. You know, I feel like they made a judgment call. And I feel like they are following their heart. Um, you know, they are going after their dreams, okay? Knight of Cups, please. Eight of, eight of Swords, please. I feel like... I definitely feel like there is kind of a, in, an entrapped or in self-victimization energy here, but I feel like they're trying to overcome this, okay? They're trying their best to overcome the situation. They're analyzing it, okay? They're definitely analyzing this situation with the Queen of Swords here, and I feel like they're trying to see what's the best approach towards the situation, and they're trying to see it with a clear mind, but I definitely feel like in a sense, they're trying to overcome feeling stuck, feeling trapped. They're trying to overcome disappointing energies. Um, and I feel like they're trying to shine. And I feel like they're going after personal satisfaction right now. And they're trying to get their emotions stable. And I feel like they just want happiness is what I see here. They definitely want happiness. I feel like right now they are being honest with themselves. Okay, so this is going to go to that one of those first groups I was talking about. I definitely feel that, you know, I feel like Gemini could be a little sneaky right now. And with the Fool here, I feel like they could be trying to sneak back into your life. Um, don't get mad at me, Geminis, but I definitely see here with this Five of Swords energy is that there is some resentment here and I feel like they do have a desire to reconcile or to forgive or be forgiven. But I feel like it's all about the approach here with the fool. It's like, I'm coming back. Just don't be mad at me. And the reason I feel like they may want to come back is because I feel like they miss this. It's almost like I have accumulated everything, but now I realize I don't have what I really want. And that's you. And it's like that. It's almost like that energy where, you know, people go after their dreams and people go after the superficial and you realize that you are lacking in intimacy, you know, and that's such a huge, that's so huge in a relationship is just having intimacy because, you know, it doesn't matter what you have in life. You can have the biggest house. You can be very, you know, popular. Um, you know, you can do very well for yourself and people may want you because of what you have and not what you truly are. And that's why celebrities, you know, end up taking their own lives. Unfortunately, it's because you're lacking that intimacy. It's like you can't separate what's real from false. And I feel like, you know, there's only so much that success can bring you. And I feel like eventually the superficial gets old. People just using you gets old. It's, it's all about that true in-depth um, relationship where you're on the same page with someone. You have so much in common. You can have conversation for days. And that's what I see like it. That's what I see the energies here. It's like I have it all or I've gotten it all, but I realize I'm not, I'm missing you is what I see here. Why is the Five of Swords here, please? Yeah, there definitely was some like, unaccountability here, some sneakiness, some unfairness, and tension. So I do feel like if you are separated from this Gemini, there is a desire to reconcile. Okay, because they feel empty, and but they feel like it's not in their control. They feel like their hands are tied. They would like to hear from you. Yeah, I feel like they would like to hear from you. I feel like there has been an ending here, some sort of death, but I feel like they want to explore this again. I definitely feel like they want some sort of communication. They're longing for communication. The Fool, please. Yeah, see, they, they want to come towards you with a new beginning. But they're, you know, they could be very conflicted right now. Two 
mini please. Why is the Ace of Wands here please? Yeah, see they don't know if you still feel the same. It's like they're contemplating if they should come towards you or not because they don't know how you're going to react. Um, they don't know if you're going to be upset with them or how you're going to react is what I see here. What message do you have in regards to Gemini, please? Did I say what's up, Scorpio? What's up, Scorpio? I have Scorpio in the house. Gemini in the house again, Cancer, Pisces, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer. Could be anyone though. I do have all signs on the board. And it says innocence. A time when you are open to new ideas and an opportunity to build a new life may indicate a move. Finding a child within, a time to play, do not take things too seriously. And for some of you, feathers could be significant this month, but I do see that with the innocence energy, it's like, do not think, take things too seriously. So I do feel like some of these Geminis are wanting to approach you innocently. I mean, they may have hurt you, but I feel like they don't know how you're going to react. So don't think, take things too serious, okay? Okay. Obstacles. You will encounter obstacles at this time. The solution is not to expect defeat, but to find answers. Rely on your inner strength to overcome the situation. You will become wiser from this experience. So just know that whatever is standing in your way, um, it is for a greater, a greater lesson, shall I say. It's to make you stronger. You know, you don't have to go up the mountain. You can go around the mountain. So for those of you who haven't spoken with your Gemini, um, let's see what message they have from their higher self. What messages would Gemini like to tell their cross watcher? So as I look at your picture often, okay, so they could look at your pictures of you online um, or if they have a picture of you in 3D, but they could definitely look at you often and reflect on the connection you guys have because you are all that they ever wanted and I feel like they may have walked away or ghosted you, um, you know, may have rebelled against you. May, maybe they told you they didn't want a commitment, but it's like now they realize, you know, past the superficial that you are all they ever wanted. Messages from Gemini, please. Ooh, it says I'm still trying to find myself. And I keep comparing you to others. And I definitely see that here. I, like I said, it's like, you know, they may have tried to replace you. They may have went after people that they perceived as, you know, they may have gone for, after people for the more superficial. Maybe they thought they were more handsome or more beautiful. And it's like you realize that, you know, beauty is only skin deep. It's like you cannot be an amazing personality. You cannot beat someone who just makes you laugh all the time or just, you know, cooks you breakfast. It's those are things that are so irreplaceable and I feel like um they thought that they could replace you and they're seeing that it's not as easy. Okay, they're realizing that they can't replace you. Um is what I see here. It's like I almost feel like Gemini and I have received some sort of you know, they have achieved some sort of success that they've been going after, but they're realizing that, you know, what they had was more valuable than what they thought. All right, guys, before I close you out, let's go ahead and pull a message from the Rebel deck to raise up those vibrations because my readings can get a little deep sometimes. So, Spirit, what message do you have for the Cross Watcher of Gemini? You are the best thing to ever happen to you. Go easy on your own ass. Buy your own damn drink. <laughs> so you guys, even if you feel like you're not getting treated how you should or people aren't acknowledging as you should, take care of yourself. Make sure you treat yourself right. You know, um, make sure you put yourself first and treat yourself most of all. You know, even if it's something little, treat yourself, okay? So guys, I'm going to leave it here. I really wish you the best. Love and light to you. Take care.